Mr. Yeah. Why, any thoughts on the uh, health care field? Do you think Saskatchewan should... Uh, I don't I never talked to Scott yesterday. We, in fact, we had supper last night. But, uh, you saw the details of some of the health care. What do you think of it? Money doesn't fix everything. But there are, there's more right? than just money in this. There's talks about uh, yeah. credential changes, which yeah. is something the Conservatives have pushed for. Are you yeah. glad to see that in... Uh, I am. I'm, I'm also worried about long-term care. Our province is one of the most aging provinces in this country right now. And actually, my riding has a lot of long-term care facilities. And I've really seen a slippage in the last seven years as MP. So I hope we can address that in the next few years coming forward, think, and especially when we're government. Do you think there's enough in there to address any issues? I mean, there's It's a start. I think it's a start. I think it's a start, and at least they had the conversation here. Uh, will it go off rails? Well, let's at least they're talking. And where, I think where would you, you know, where is, would you cut argument. to find more money? Oh, I, I'm not in charge of health. <laughs> what, what Don't else, know. What else did you? It's, it's a big on? budget item. We all know that. It's the number one budget item in every provincial government. That and education. So uh, that's a big chore for them. Did the it premier really give is. you any hints about where he's? No, he didn't. This? No, no, he just said a little bit yesterday. But I think they'll go back and he'll talk to Paul Merriman, mm. and they'll have a caucus and. We'll move forward. But at least they're speaking, guys. What other issues did you speak about? Nothing with him, actually. No. I, actually, I've got the firearms guy here, mm -hmm. uh, Robert Freeberg. So he's uh, front and center with us today at Saskatchewan Caucus, as the government has uh, relinquished on the uh, two very contentious amendments. So we had a very good caucus meeting today with Robert Freeberg, who is the chief firearms officer in Saskatchewan. Uh, he's going to meet with our leader today, and he's even going to meet with Manichino tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much. Well, obviously, this is very concerning, and uh, as a father, I'm very impressed by that, and uh, it's a very tough time for everybody. All of my thought in three years now for them. Um, very tough to, to talk about that. It's a situation that, obviously, nous bouleverse tous. Euh, personne qui est à l'abri d'une tragédie semblable, mais ça fait vraiment mal. Et nos pensées euh, accompagnent les victimes et les familles des victimes. Bonjour tout le monde. J'ai ici pour vous parler de ce qui s'est passé à Laval ce matin. Il y a un accident, un tragique accident qui a piqué un chauffeur d'autobus qui est délibérément euh, foncé sur une garderie. Euh, c'est horrible. Euh, toutes nos pensées sont avec les familles, les gens qui ont été blessés ou peut-être même euh, qui sont décédés actuellement. On, on, on entend plus d'informations, mais c'est un geste qui, euh, on espère, on aura des réponses rapidement à savoir pourquoi le chauffeur d'autobus de Laval a décidé de faire cet acte horrible envers une garderie ou euh, un endroit où nos enfants sont, sont gardés pour être protégés et non pas euh, victimes d'accidents terribles comme ça. Merci. D'où est-ce que vous détenez que c'était délibéré? C'est la formation que j'ai pris dans les nouvelles euh, ce matin. Actually, with the, we've been informed that this, uh, the, this morning in Laval, Quebec, there's a, a bus driver deliberately uh, goes uh, in a uh, kindergarten and actually been detained by the police. We don't have any more information, but we found it terrible, and we uh, we hope that. Uh, there's uh, no doubt, but actually we don't have enough information to comment more. But it's a, it's a crazy event and uh, we talk, talk with the families. Thank you.